Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. In this particular set of videos, we are uh, talking about family-based videos and what's involved with that. Um, in this particular set, I'd like to talk about what happens when the visa number becomes current. So, you've either been waiting years and years for the visa number to become current or you filed an immediate relative petition and it's uh, you know always current what do you do next well if you happen to be outside the country then you would go through what's called consulate processing so basically what happens then is the national visa center uh, normally keeps control of these petitions and and essentially about six months before it becomes current uh, they will send the petitioner a packet which will uh, basically list, say that, okay, this visa number is about to become current, now fill out the affidavit of support requirements and the other requirements and send it back to us. And that's when it becomes important to, as far as for the affidavit of support requirements, to show that you, the petitioner, um, will make sufficient amount of money so the beneficiary does not become a public charge. And the question people always ask me at the, at the beginning of the process, before they even file the I-130 is, you know, they don't make enough and is that going to be a problem? Not with the I-130. Or they committed crimes and is that going to make them inadmissible? Well, it might. But for the I-130 part, the criminal history doesn't matter, the amount of money you make doesn't matter, none of that matters with the I-130. It's only when you start uh, the consulate processing uh, and the actual, you know, everything's current and you move on to the next step. So after it gets to the NVC and the affidavit of support and other requirements are sent, they actually, they being the NVC, will send it to the uh, embassy or consulate in your home country. And once it gets there, they will then prepare to send you another packet, which a lot of that is uh, biographical type information and then you will go get your medicals you'll have an appointment at some near future point uh, at the consulate uh, in order to uh, obtain your lawful permanent residence or if you happen to be in the US and it's current you can then adjust status uh, to a lawful permanent resident uh, assuming you qualify and then go from there okay more on the coming videos